Hello everybody. Gage says it's empty. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from, uh, this is the Rusty Barrel Whiskey Bent Barley Wine. And this is brewed at Adelbert's Brewery out of Austin, Texas. Uh, my good friend and buddy uh, down in uh, Texas, Brandon C., sent this to me a while back. Uh, and I've had it in the closet and just got it out and got it into the fridge because I wanted to review it. This uh, says here on the bottle, uh, it is a whiskey bent barley wine, unfiltered and bottle conditioned at 11% alcohol on the label here. And it's got batch number one. And it says bottling date and it's got big white letter boxes for them to print all this stuff in. January 21st of 2016. And today is the 10th of March on 2017, so it's been in the bottle about 14 months. So, and I don't know how long it was in the barrels before they did that. Uh, so, uh, this beer has already been aged. Please store upright. More info at RustyBarrelBrewing.com. Uh, in the this has a corking cage on it. And it says store it upright, because uh, I evidently, I don't know whether this is a real cork or a synthetic cork. A lot of times it's like you wave, uh, lay wine bar uh, barrels, bottles down to keep the cork wet. So no air gets in, the cork doesn't dry out, and you doesn't get that. But they want you to store it, it says on the bottle, store it standing up, which I have. So, uh, Brandon, thanks again, my brother. Uh, sorry it took so long to get to this, but these monster beers like this will sell her for quite a while. And now we're getting to it. Uh, <clears throat> it has no commercial description here on rape beer, so uh, without further ado, we're going to try to get this cork and cage off of this thing, and I will tell you, the cheese is a sharp blue cheddar, your stronger cheeses, Gorgonzola Limburger, go well with this, and it says here, general dessert or digestive. Looks like a synthetic cork, so that's another, probably another way, it doesn't look like a real cork. So. Let me see if I can get this off. Oh yeah, it's gonna come out. Glass brought a pint back in Nottingham Tumblr. Uh, snifter, got my favorite snifter. It's coming out right easy. Let's see what kind of pop we get. Big pop, big time pop. It looks like a cork on the bottom side here though. So, uh, nice little cork. It's got the brewery's logo and insignia on it. Very nice. And it says can be solid for a long period of time. Well, I can't think of a single reason why you could not. This beer at 11% should keep 5, 10, 15, even 20 years. Into the glass we go. Looks very brown and murky coming out. Looks like a barley wine. Alright. Great big 750 milliliter bottle. About right at a little less than a finger of head. Very brown and murky, murky, murky in the glass. Not a lot of light coming through it. Just a little bit through the thin part of the glass underneath here, guys. Well, let's get it to the nose. <sighs> Big booziness on it, though, still. A lot of that whiskey still there. Caramel, toffee. Molasses, brown sugar, maybe some darker fruit in there, dates, raisins, figs, plums. 
raisins especially. I'm getting raisins on the nose. But it's got a big booziness to it still, guys. <sighs> Smells uh, very delicious. Uh, final beer of the evening for me. Let's dive in and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Brandon. You have to tell this was in a first run whiskey barrel. Big time whiskey notes as alcohol on this. This would probably be a, a good one to sell a little longer. Sometimes that booze in this will fade. If, if I had had two of these, or if I could get these here, this would be a prime candidate to put away for at least, at least five years, if not longer. And it says it's unfiltered, so, and I've had this in the closet. It's not been in the fridge the whole time I've had it. Another reason why we got a big pop. The yeast is probably still working a little bit in this bottle. And uh, keeping it at around 70 degrees, that's going to let that yeast continue to work. Putting it in the fridge will stop that. That'll, that'll, you know, it'll be so, so cold or so chilled that the yeast won't continue to ferment. I'm just glad it didn't come gushing out. <laughs> Go all over the place. Big booziness of this beer, guys. Uh, I think it could sell our a little while longer, to be honest about it. Big boys beer, I'm going to tell you right up. Big alcohol notes on this. Super big alcohol notes. Well, let me pour her a glass and sip on it for a while. I might go out there and fire up the stogie while I'm sipping on this. This is a sipper, guys, no doubt about it. Might have a slight buzz when I come back. I know you guys like to see that a lot of times. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Just sipped on about 30 minutes. Very, very tasty beer. Uh, the, the Either the alcohol has subsided a little bit now that I've been sipping on it for a while, or I've gotten used to it. My palate has gotten used to it. Of course, a lot of times when you pour these fresh out of the bottle, you get that big boozy aroma when it's been done in these whiskey barrels like this. Uh, Definitely first run whiskey barrels too with the amount of alcohol and booziness that I'm getting on this. But now that I've been sipping on it for a while, it's not quite as bad now as it was the first sip. And that usually is the one that blows you away and makes you do all this unless you're a seasoned whiskey drinker. Uh, a little heavy for my palate right out of the bottle, cold. Uh, they say the ideal serving temperature for this is between 50 and 55 degrees. So. It's, uh, it's at that temperature or a little bit warmer now. Uh, not quite as bad. Awesome lacing that's left on the glass. Guys, it's a very tasty barrel aged uh, barley wine. It is very, very tasty. Uh, I enjoyed this. It is a, uh, it is a sipper, like I said earlier. Uh, not something you'd want to chug. You wouldn't want to chug a bottle like this anyway because I'm sure Brandon spent quite a penny on this beer. Would not be surprised if this beer wasn't 20 or $25 for this great big bottle of uh, beer that it is. And this is their batch number one, like I said, uh, uh, the first time they had done it. I don't know if they intend on doing it again or if they have done it again since this one was released. Uh, they might have batch number two out right now since it was put in the bottle in January of 2016. They might have the uh, batch number two out by now. I'm not sure, Brandon, if you know, you might want to post that in the comments. I do appreciate it, sir. I know this, like I said, this was not a cheap bottle of beer to buy. Uh, and on top of that, I don't know how big this brewery is. Uh, Rusty Bow Brewing, and it's actually done, uh, uh, brewed and bottled by Ad Adelbert Brewing in Austin, Texas. So uh, I actually don't even know if Rusty Bow has their own brewery or uh, their contract and these guys here at Adam Wright uh, to do their beer for them. I'm not real sure there. Like I said, I'm not in Texas. So uh, I did find it very, very tasty. Found it a little bit boozy uh, right out of the bottle, but not too bad now. It's still there, though. There's no burning or anything like that. It's not that hot, but I think it's a prime candidate to sell her, uh, which I did for six months or so because I think I've had this for about that long. I'm sure Brandon is wondering why I haven't done it yet, but uh, 
these great big beers like this will sell it for a long, long, long time. So let's do the final chug here. Wonderful aroma, caramel, toffee, brown sugar, molasses, dark fruit. Wonderful, very nice. A great final beer of the evening, and for a bottle this size, a nice beer to share with your significant other, like I did, or some close friends, enough to pour them all a nice sample and, and pass it around to four, five, six people, and let everybody have a little bit of it. Final chug. Delicious beer, guys. It really is a delicious beer. I enjoyed this. Uh, I would probably buy this beer. Uh, it is a great beer for special occasions. Uh, not something you'd want to go out and buy a case of it if you had deep pockets anyway and drink this all the time. Not something I'd want to drink all the time. But a great final beer of the evening for a nice chilly evening, which it is here. Temperature down in the 30 and uh, possibility of a little bit of snow here and there. Very tasty. So, uh, like I said, guys, uh, I'm going to give this an A. Uh, 95 is where I would put this beer, right, right in the middle of the A category. A little bit on the boozy side to get a little bit better grade than that. But other than that, if you like a big whiskey barley wine, this is the, this is the one. It is. Whiskey's taking up the whole front seat, as a matter of fact. But it's not burning or anything like that. It's a very, very nice uh, whiskey barrel aged beer. Over to uh, Rape Beer, I mean Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate has no score, which I find a little uh, unsettling because they even have the wrong ABV listed. They don't have the, uh, they, they're, they're saying this is their Rusty Barrel Whiskey Barrel Aged Barley Wine. So I don't know if these guys have done this before. This is the... Uh, and that's what it says here, Rusty Barrel, Whiskey Barrel, Whiskey Bent, and this says Whiskey Barrel, so, and they have the ABV at 8.70, so they may have done a different version of this, that's why they've got it here at 8.70, it's at 11%, which this one is, and they don't have any ratings on top of that, so basically, uh, they're out of the picture here, but they don't have no ratings, so they're out of the picture anyway. And over to Rate Beer, Rate Beer has it at 11%, but they, they also don't have any uh, score here. And only one person has commented on this one. I didn't look at uh, Beer Advocate see how many people have commented. One. Then it was on the 8.7% version. So let's run over to Untapped. Untapped does have it at 11%, and they're giving it 3.95, which is in their A minus score to me. Uh, I think it's a little better than that. So I'm giving it a solid A, 95 for me, straight down the middle of the A category. If you've had this one from uh, Rusty Bow Brewing, or as the bottle says, uh, brewed and bottled by Adelbert's Brewing out of Austin, Texas, let me know what you think. I thought it was damn tasty, Brandon C. Sorry it took so long to get to it, and I appreciate you spending your hard-earned money on this because I know it wasn't a cheap bottle to buy. So. A great can of cellar, guys, uh, and I sell this for a little while, but I think this one cellar and tastes a little better, five or ten or even longer down the road. So, uh, if you had this one, the 11% Whiskey Bent Barley Wine, uh, let me know what you think, guys. Come on back tomorrow. Let's see what we dig out the fridge. See everybody then.